Welcome to Borneo, Malaysia, the third largest island in the world and this year's chosen location for World Swimsuit 2016. This exotic island destination is home to some of the world's most diverse natural beauty and rare wildlife. For the next three weeks, the team would be based out of Gaia Island Resort, a beautiful five-star establishment that wonderfully captures the culture and spirit of the island nation. Accessible only by boat, the luxury getaway is set amongst protected mangroves, sheltered coral reefs, and nestled in the hillside of one of the world's oldest rainforests, all surrounded by the magnificent sandy coast of Malahom Bay. One of the resort's many features is its award-winning spa, which photographer Gavin Bond decides to use as his first shoot location. We're here with Mia, it's my very first shot. We're in the spa. We're gonna, if you turn around over here, we have the uh, fish whisperer ready with the, uh, with the koi, and Mia's gonna get in here and- I uh, am. Yes. I am. We'll see what happens. It's, uh, it's still a little cloudy, so we chose this as the first option of the day, and then hopefully in a few hours, we're gonna venture into the jungle and see what other animals and creatures we can find. Mia recently won Sports Illustrated's 2016 model search competition, further elevating her modeling career. But Mia's not just a pretty face. She has a master's degree in finance and financial law, was a successful commodities trader, and is an avid Muay Thai fighter. Hi, my name is Mia Kang. I'm half Korean, half English, but I was born and raised in Hong Kong, and I currently live in New York. And this is my first time shooting for World Swimsuit. I got scouted as a model when I was 13 years old. I actually grew up as an obese kid and when I was 13 I halved my own weight and I didn't really realize that I'd lost all this weight um, and I did dance classes and my dance teacher came up to me and said you should think about becoming a model and uh, she had a friend who had an agency and she brought me in and I had no idea what I was doing but I went in and I started working and 13 years later here I am. <laughs> Mia was a complete and utter trooper. Everything we threw at her, she was, yeah, whatever, bring it on. Two of the amazing features of the resort is they have a jungle and they have these incredible mangroves as well. So uh, we thought we'd base her whole story around there. 
And on the first day, we took her out on a little jungle adventure. We took her deep into the jungle, and uh, she's pretty fearless. You know, that girl can kick some butt when she's not modeling. So she was the perfect choice to take into the jungle, you know, and she, the snakes, the spiders, whatever. She was climbing the trees, and she was properly in it, and it was very humid, and it took a certain kind of girl to be shot in there. It's all good, keep that moving, good. Mangroves tomorrow. Is it? Yeah. This is the first I'm hearing of that. Pythons, apparently. Nice. Yeah, nice. that should be fun. Nice. <laughs> Little boat, mangroves, Little boat. pythons. Okay. Cool. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Perfect. Let's go. Cool. For the second part of Mia's shoot, the team headed into Gaia Island Resort's protected mangrove forest, which is only accessible by kayak or a small motorboat. The mangrove's beautifully exposed root system made for a unique setting for Mia's adventurous, outgoing nature. Gavin has chosen some really interesting and challenging locations for my shoot. We went into the mangroves. Uh, we had to take a boat and go into the mangroves, and I had to climb up on some mangroves and dangle from them, balance on them. But um, it's been incredibly memorable. Um, and we've seen some unbelievable things. This has definitely been a, a once-in-a-lifetime trip. Justin, our guide, and a few of his helpers, they were climbing in the water and you know, crawling through these mangroves, and it was pretty, you know, we saw snakes hanging from the trees, and it was, uh, it was something I've never, ever seen before. And you know, she was having to balance herself on boats and climb out and wrap herself around vines, and again, she was completely fearless. A lot of girls that you'd ask, and they'd be like, no, nah, not going to do that. But uh, she brought a, a different kind of, you know, flavour to the issue, and uh, she has a, you know, a great strength. How was that? How was that for that you? That was amazing. Yeah? That was. I mean, how often do you get to hang out in a beautiful mangrove, right? Is it mangrovey? It was so mangrovey. <laughs> Rain has finally passed, and it's uh, looking like it's hopefully going to be a nice afternoon. We're going to head out to a fishing village, which is on the water, to uh, work with Jessica Buchanan for the first time. And uh, hopefully the weather will be good to us, and we can go out on this pirate ship that we found yesterday and get some great shots. Hi, I'm Jess Hilly Buchanan and this is my second year shooting World Swim Suits. I really enjoyed shooting and getting to know everyone last year, so this year was just even better. The team was a little bit bigger as well and I got to meet people that I didn't get to meet last year. I met Jess actually last year when I was away shooting World Swim Suit and I really wanted to shoot her this year and I made it happen. So yeah, she was my second girl that I got to work with. And the essence of her story, we found out about this local like, village that's on, you know, on stilts around the corner from the resort. It's this multicolored place and the, all the people that live there, I guess, every day, you know, their life is fishing. They live in these homes and uh, we found out that we could go and visit them and 
we arrived and they opened up their doors to us and we, uh, we shot our whole story in and around there. It was like all different colors, it was beautiful. There's a lot of culture happening around there, so it fitted very well with the vibe that he was going for, which was, I think, like the little Fisher village girl, you know, like the gypsy that just wandered out there. A self-proclaimed gypsy girl, modeling has allowed Jessica to travel the globe and do what she loves most, spend time in a bikini on the beach collecting seashells. Jessica also has a passion for animals and has always loved crafting things with her hands and is toying with the idea of launching a clothing range with a close friend. My experience shooting with Gavin has been epic. I didn't get a chance to shoot with him last year, so I was so excited learning that I would shoot with him this year. We work very well together, we laugh a lot, and a part of his look that he chose for me was like this bohemian vibe, which I think fitted me perfectly. So I felt like he kind of knew who I was before he even met me. So I'm really glad that he chose that direction for myself. We found these boats that we photographed on, who I'm sure the guy that let us onto his boat, the rest of the time he's a pirate. But uh, yeah, he was he was really welcoming and it was perfect for Jess because it had that kind of hippie, sort of colorful vibe, which she just does effortlessly. So you just kind of put her in that world and amongst the locals and all those pops of color and uh, she just blends right in and it was, it was great. Look at it today, it's absolutely gorgeous. Now, finally, it looks like paradise, this is it. And the locals, they were so welcoming, we went there, it's breakfast time, they got up, we went in the shops, bought some of their cold drinks, we hung out, they were, they were really, really cool. It was a good, really, really good morning. Mission accomplished, went well. The following morning starts off with some thunder showers, but does not stop us from introducing another fresh face to the world swimsuit team. Hailing from America's beautiful west coast, she is Jessica Strother. Hi, my name is Jessica Strother. I'm from Los Angeles, California. I currently live in New York and I've been modeling for almost eight years. This is my first time shooting World Swimsuit. It's been an amazing shoot. The team is great, keeping my energy up. The vibes are great. It's been a lot of fun. Jessica's striking beauty and hard work has been rewarded by landing her this year's World Swimsuit front cover. She's been modeling since the age of 14 and sometimes still can't believe it's all worked out the way it has. At one point, it seemed like an impossible dream where she initially struggled to find an agent. Whatever the reason, we're thrilled it worked out the way it did. Just finished the first half of my shoot. It's been nice working with Gavin, he's so much fun. We are now going to another private beach to finish up the second part of my shoot. I'm so excited. The second part of Jessica's shoot would take place at the nearby uninhabited Sulug Island. 
To get there, the World Swimsuit Team had exclusive use of Gaia Island Resort's 64-foot luxury motor yacht, Lumba Lumba. Setting off just after dawn, it was pleasant cruising all the way, and in the hour it took to get there, the team enjoyed the beautiful scenery as it rushed past the open deck. That's a given. So this morning we're going to continue shooting Jessica S out on this uh, island, middle of nowhere. And uh, what well, they set up over there, it looks like natives live on that island, so hopefully we'll make it off alive. So but, uh, we'll give it a go. <laughs> This is my first time shooting with Gavin, and it's been a lot of fun. He's really good to work with, makes you feel comfortable. I feel like we have a good chemistry going on. Some of the challenges I've faced has been definitely the weather. Pouring rain one second and then be sunny the next, and really have to just like go with the flow. You know, if it's raining and then all of a sudden it's sunny, you have to just run to hair and makeup and get your hair and makeup done. So that's been a little challenging, but you just push through it. The weather once again proved its unpredictable nature and changed swiftly with a monsoon rolling in fast, which would halt production and send the team back to the resort. It's your last day today. I know, I'm sad. So am I. I don't want to go. There's a reason we're here. Everything with Jess' story is shot, is shot backlit, so we have to be up really, really early to get the light when it's kind of raising up. And then about 11, she's done every morning. But the last of the early mornings. We're gonna have fun tonight. You wanna live or you wanna fly? Then take your toes off the line. Hey there, sister, oh, you gotta rock the boat. Hey there, sister, oh, you gotta lose control. Who they gonna see you? Who you meant to be? Oh, 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 oh. Hey there, sister, oh, you gotta rock the boat. Hey there, sister, oh, you gotta lose control. We've been doing a lot of sporty looks, adding gold jewelry, white bikinis with a lot of lace and, you know, long flowy dresses. We got up early, the sun was rising, it was very beautiful. The shoot's very angelic, you know, backlit, so I'm really, really excited. Zenya. And this is Gavin. <laughs> nice to meet you. Hi. <laughs> we were together yesterday, but the weather wasn't very good, so we didn't have time on camera. We had to rush down there, get on the pier, and start the pictures before, the, before it got dark. And before that, the weather wasn't very good, so we just kind of rocked it out. But now, we're about to go out on that yacht and continue the shoot. The sun is shining. I've got my Hawaiian shirt on. Zenya's got a dressing gown on. Almost naked. Almost naked. So, but anyway, we thought dressing gown was more appropriate. But yeah, we're going to go out on that yacht and shoot some amazing pictures. I was running scared, drunk and unprepared. While you were... 
It's not hard to see why Xenia is a world swimsuit favorite, and she just keeps getting better with each passing year. The Moldovian beauty recently shot to worldwide fame after appearing as Justin Bieber's lover in his music video for his hit single, What Do You Mean? and has also recently married the man of her dreams. It feels amazing to come back a uh, fifth uh, year in a row. I hope and I wish to do five years more. <laughs> but um, I'm all the time enjoying to work with the World Swimsuit because it's like a family for me and it feels great. Xenia I worked with two years ago when, when I shot her in the Seychelles. And she was fantastic then, and when the opportunity arose this time to work with her, I jumped at the opportunity. But this time, in those two years that have passed, she's matured into this, you know, this real woman, and I wanted to celebrate that. So the whole style of the shoot, we, it was a little nod to kind of the 90s supermodels, and her hair and makeup and the styling and everything really reflected on that. So we chartered this beautiful yacht, and we took her out on there, and we shot out on the yacht, and. It was a perfect setting for her and uh, we really celebrated that, that style of photography and those, those women of the 90s. And uh, I think she, you know, she'll look at those pictures as well and see it as a, as a stepping stone for her. And, uh, I was very happy with that, how it all went. What I like about Gavin, he is very creative. He knows uh, exactly what he wants to get and it's easy to work with him. Every year I'm learning something different, something else, because I become more mature and more experienced in my job. And I think every year we're getting better and better pictures. This year we had very beautiful bikinis. There were some plain ones. Usually I'm not shooting the plain ones, but this year we try to get uh, like a feeling of the 90s and we had exactly those bikinis with a high waist and it looked beautiful. This is my fourth year shooting World Swimsuit and I look forward to it every year. You know, after shooting this for four years, it's become, you know, a little family. You know, I look forward to, you know, coming, seeing everyone again. We share the stories from the previous years and uh, is it work? I don't know really, it's, it's not. For me it's, you know, I enjoy it more than anything. You know, thankfully, you know, every day when I, I work, I'm happy because to me it's not my work, it's what I love and it's what I do. A new day dawns in Borneo, which introduces us to a new photographer and model. Jacques Veyers is certainly no stranger to World Swimsuit, having shot for the magazine countless times over the years. His friendly, outgoing nature and wealth of experience brings a welcome boost of energy to the team as they head into the halfway point of the shoot. So I just arrived in Borneo to, to Gaia Island Resort here in Malaysia and um, arrived to torrential rain but suddenly it's cleared and uh, we're jumping to it, kind of rocking and rolling and hair and makeup has been rushed and trying to get done. So first time working with Tanya, she's uh, coming from LA. She is that sort of girl who you can really put anywhere and, and, it, and it'll work. So I've decided to stay quite local at the resort just to not sort of have too much travel time and, and capitalize on the life that's eventually coming out. So yeah, we're going to rock and roll in minutes.
Hi, my name is Tanya. I was born in Russia and currently I'm, I'm living in Los Angeles. This is my first time shooting World Swimsuit and I was really excited. I really love the photographer, Jacques. I love his work, so I was so thrilled to come and have an opportunity to shoot. And I've never been in this part of the world, so it's always such a journey and such an experience. So Tanya was the first girl I shot. Uh, she was somebody that I hadn't worked with. I actually just met her out socially in, in LA and um, she sort of stood out in the crowd for me and got chatting and she's a really amazing girl and you know, got on really well. So I thought, let me bring her on, on this trip. And my story sort of changed initially from what I'd planned with her just because we unfortunately got a bit of bad weather in the beginning. So the Tanya had to be very specific because it was so location driven. I needed to place her in the positions I needed her to be in. She just ran with it so beautifully and you know everything I, I, I sort of set up for her, she just made her own and, and was very comfortable in the positions. And you know, I kind of made sure that I went through everything with her and, and showed her our progress and showed her the pictures and she was loving what was going on. So that was motivation for me to continue in that same direction. And you know, the resort is such an amazing place in terms of texture and there's always something, palm trees and there's always a beautiful sculpted garden and the beaches are really amazing. Amazing. So it was kind of a natural thing just to get started almost in the easiest place really. Um, so it, it was just by chance that I ended up where I did with her and it just it was amazing. She's such a strong model, got a very strong face, very natural. I kind of pulled sets out of, you know, built sort of little sets for her and we found, you know, wood where we could and we found, you know, leaves and we just literally like built these sets for her and, and created this environment for her, sort of a little island, tropical island vibe for her and it, it paid off and it looked really good. I was very happy with it. I've got our last shot before lunch with Tanya. Um, I've kind of built this little set. I've had some holes cut into a piece of bamboo and I'm going to get water poured out through the bamboo, give it some nice effect and get some water on her body. Should look really good, I hope. Shooting with Jacques was so refreshing and different because he would set up the set and he would always kind of know what he wanted. Yet I had a freedom to do what I felt like is right for me. So it was like this collaboration of photographer and I, and I loved it. And shooting in Borneo and shooting in Malaysia and having all these palm leaves that are creating different shapes. I don't have anything like that. I've never seen anything like that. It's really lovely. Hi, my name is Cara Del Toro. It's my first day shooting World Swimsuit, and it's really pretty outside today in Borneo, so I'm really excited to shoot with Jacques. It's also my first time shooting with him, so I think it's gonna be amazing. Stay tuned. In America, that's how it goes. You can have your status, you can have your cars, you can have the rich guy, but where's your
swim at an LA at a casting actually that I did for Will Swim Suit over there looking for international girls. Such an amazing personality and she just came across immediately as the sporty girl, you know. She's got this beautiful, curvaceous body, very strong, got this incredible smile and we needed to sort of break our stories where we at least had one of the girls that were a little bit more smiley, a little bit more movement and she, she was the girl for that. She really pulled that off and you know, you've always got to kind of try and give each girl an identity I feel and give them a different type of feeling and uh, you know, so she was my kind of my sport girl, my kayak girl and, and I mean there was nobody better for it especially with a body like that it just suited it completely and also being able to throw those smiles in every now and again which just kind of lifted the, the mood of everything and so we got those beautiful emerald green waters that you get in Borneo and you know, it sort of balances off all the, all the jungle and, and it, it translates as this emerald green water and it, you know, it was perfect for her. You know, just such a lovely girl, I'd have her back any day. Jacques's so nice. I don't think Jacques could be mean to anyone if he wanted to. At least I couldn't see it. He's been so sweet and he just makes you feel so comfortable and he makes you feel beautiful while you're shooting so it's easy to move with him and he knows the light and he gets the shot really fast. He knows what he wants and he's quick. We get the shot, we move on to the next one. So he's just like, he's awesome to work with. He's so fun. Uh, we had a fantastic morning at sun. Uh, we could cut it over a little bit now, but the hotness hasn't left. So we're going to bring it on and we're going to try and get some more green water and some a little more action going on in the background here. Yeah? So it, look, it looks good. I'm excited. <laughs> Am I supposed to say something? <laughs> Took a quick boat ride here to this private beach that the resort has, which is gorgeous. We did some shots on a little boat off of a dock, which was really interesting. The boat was rocking up and down. I was trying to balance, but Jock made it amazing. I think that it's gonna turn out really beautiful because as the boat was moving up and down, the light was changing and flickering, and it was just beautiful. My shoot was kind of sporty scuba girl vibe, which was fun. So we had just sportier wetsuit type bikinis, things like that. So it was a little bit more active, some running through the water, kicking and splashing. It's kind of different than the other shoots that I've done for swimwear, where it's just been like super sexy or more casual. This has been sporty, it's been awesome. Kara is rapidly becoming a star on Instagram, where followers can't get enough of her Cali model lifestyle. She's appeared in campaigns for Guess, Beach Bunny Swimwear and Harper's Bazaar, and recently featured in the much talked about Carl's Jr. Tex-Mex commercial. My experience with World Swimsuit has been amazing. It's been a dream come true. I think it's been absolutely incredible. The shoot was just so easy. Honestly, it's like I've been on a week-long vacation, like a honeymoon with one photo shoot. Well, I don't know about you, but I don't think I could have predicted a better end to the day. Kara ended up with the best light of the trip so far and it just looked outstanding and as a comment I heard it looked like we were looking at the magazine already. Yay! It was so fun, it was so perfect, it was amazing. Happy days. It's another beautiful morning in paradise, and the team head out on the boat to a secluded island 30 minutes away from the resort. It's here that we welcome New Zealand-born Zipporah Seven for the first time. The Kiwi beauty hails from Waiheke Island, and her easygoing attitude and effortless charm instantly endeared her to the team, and she quickly established herself as a firm favorite amongst the crew. I've got to find another season. Cause this one makes me feel cold. 
So here we are on this beautiful dark side of the island, as I always call it, a little bit of the rougher side for our beautiful shipwreck story with Sephora. We've kind of set up this little mini shipwreck scene, which we're sort of recreated and, and uh, used bits and pieces that we found on the island. And she's looking fab. She suits the story with her salty blonde hair and it's looking absolutely fabulous. So I'm stoked and it's looking absolutely amazing. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Sephora or Zippy as we called her, her strength is actually just in her naturalness. She's a very natural girl. She doesn't have to do anything to look beautiful. She's just sort of can stand there and looks great. She's got she's very in tune with herself and I decided to do like a little shipwreck story with her. Again, a location sort of driven story where we created a little shipwreck scene. I got the guys from Gaia Resort uh, who was so helpful on this trip to come and sort of build me a little shipwreck scene. They pulled out bamboo from the resort and you know, we took it on the boat with us and everything you see in those images were actually brought onto that scene. There was nothing that we just found there. We had to actually bring everything on and make it look as natural as we could and make what was in the foreground work with what was going on in the background. And I literally just had to have her in place and put her in the position and let the story unfold in that way. And Zippy was the natural choice of that just because of her natural demeanor. And I, and I didn't want to break away from that. I didn't want to force anything else but that, but bring more of that out in her. And she really pulled it off. You know, it's not easy being natural. A lot of girls, they have to sort of work to get the shots where she doesn't. She could just be. Got her hair in her face and, you know, lots of sand in the body and very confident and, like I said, in tune with herself. So I'm super stoked with those pictures and, and uh, it's, it's this is what my story's needed. It feels great being part of the family at World Swimsuit. Everyone's so funny and crazy and nice. This is my first time working with Jack and it's been really fun. I love his energy. He's like really just like a friend talking to you and taking photos and feels really nice and natural. I like the swimwear chosen. It was very me. It was very like tropical green, blues, like all kind of colors that I would usually wear and also really nice for the location as well. It was like really blue water, really sunny. And, but yeah, it was funny because I've never really done the kind of really sexy posing before. So it was quite fun for me to try new poses and new like stronger attitude. I love working with everyone so much and I'm very happy. So we ended with such a successful afternoon. I mean, we've got some insane pictures. This little legend over here just really is an absolute star and a big name to look forward to in the future and uh, I had such a good afternoon. I don't know if you had a good afternoon. So much fun. Thank <laughs> you so much. Pleasure. <laughs> Okay, 
so here we are on another glorious uh, day here in Borneo. Uh, we're on a boat and we've got a bit of a dodgy start with weather but it just popped up beautifully. We've got this beautiful little layer of cloud which is softening the light quite beautifully. So I'm not restricted in any way. It's just kind of shoot where I want really which is fantastic. I'm super super excited. I'm happy to be working with uh, Jacques again. Um, I shot with him about six years ago so I'm super stoked that we get to work together and that we're in this beautiful location. So Tano was the World Swimsuit Model Search winner um, and I've worked with Tano before so I knew what I was in for and I was quite excited. During the fitting we sort of tried on a few of the swimsuits and it just led us in this whole nautical direction. Every one of the swimsuits that fit her perfectly just were meant to be shot in a boat. And Guy Island Resort organised this beautiful speedboat, very luxurious and lots of beautiful graphic angles. Um, and I just, you know, I've shot on boats so many times I was kind of thinking how do I make this look different? And I just thought that the only thing that was really lacking in any of the stories was an insane amount of energy and there was no good opportunity to have this small speedboat just flying around at speed and this girl moving around while the boat was kind of moving and it just did it, it worked, it created this amazing energy and we got Tana hanging off the boat and I was blown away by her, she took it to the next level and for me I'm excited about it because it was different to anything that I'd done before and it was different to any boat story that I'd shot before, you know, so yeah, something different and something new and something fresh for a normal sort of boat story and over the moon, absolutely over the moon. Having worked with Jacques six years ago, I think we were both a little bit nervous where we were going to pick up again, but it was like we saw each other yesterday and we really were feeding off each other's energies. I had some great ideas and so did he, and we were just really excited to put them all together and make it work. So basically, I've been making Tana kind of risk her life a little bit, um, and you know, most of the time, you know, everybody sort of takes direction well and they do what a photographer wants them to do, but this was a little bit beyond <laughs> the call of duty. But she took it and she did it, but now in return, she's got a, a, an idea which we're now going to try and execute. Yes. So, what's the idea? I'm going to hang off the side of the boat, and so are you, and you're going to take the photo as we're moving. Okay, with done. The water's connection. Okay, done deal. Done deal. Yeah. Beautiful. Tana is a classic South African beauty with international aspirations and a deserved winner of this year's World Swimsuit Model Search competition. She has always loved being in front of the camera and clearly the camera loves her too. My experience here in Borneo has been really epic. The people here are super friendly, which is so nice. Everyone has welcomed me with open arms. It's been so much fun. We've laughed so much on this trip and it's really gonna be sad to leave this place because I've really enjoyed my experience here. The walls of my whole world came crashing down. Part of Borneo's incredible offering is its seemingly endless number of beaches, each with its own unique charm. So when Bianca joined the shoot, the team already had the perfect location in mind. Is resting safe and sound. Cause this is where I am in a lonesome river town.
So we've arrived here at Bianca's first day of shooting um, and we've kind of discovered this little, small little fishing, I wouldn't say a village, but a couple of houses here on the beach which they've got this most insane view to wake up to every morning. So we've kind of decided to come and do it here, sort of a little bit of a cultural side of the island and got some fire going to chase away <laughs> all the mosquitoes. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to getting going. It's our third time together. Yeah, hey? third year, exactly. Crazy. Very excited. That's it. Okay. With the anchor, we sort of left the resort and we, we went out to a different side of the island. Uh, we came across these fishing village type huts um, right on the most picturesque beach uh, with these, you know, these boats sort of moored in the water, um, these little homemade boats and it was kind of like a, you know, a breath of fresh air compared to the neatness of, of the resort and more of a cultural sort of side to Borneo and a natural setting, I thought, that would work really well for Bianca. And what a transformation from the first year to the third. She was super, super sexy. I would literally put her in the positions I needed her in and she ran with them and made them her own and I think everybody had their jaws on the ground. It was just breathtaking and, and I think you're going to see a whole different side of her and a whole different side of her pictures. Super happy with her. Even from when I won the model search um, two years ago, I remember at the top 12 shoots, I just felt so comfortable and Jacques was the one taking those pictures and ever since then we've created a really special bond and we shoot together once every year on these beautiful islands but it almost feels like we shoot every day. So blessed to have permission from the owner of this island to let us basically shoot in his home. So what we did was we just made use of what was around us and created something from there. We used a lot of boats, there was a point where I was pulling on boats, um, I was in the water, I was in the sand, basically we made use of everything. So they say third time's the charm, and it certainly is the case in this instance. Uh, you know, I said last year how you transformed it. This year is just a completely another level. We completely smoked it. We are this beautiful environment here, this little yeah, house really environment, cool. and the textures and the boats it just suited her down to the ground. And, and Bianca really, really took advantage uh, of what probably is one of the nicest locations we've been at uh, since we've been here. And I'm, I'm super happy. I could not be more happy with the way it's turned out. Just like that, the team were down to their final model, the gorgeous Genevieve Morton. Another small town South African girl, Genevieve has built an incredible track record and can count herself amongst the best swimsuit models of all time. Needless to say, her arrival called for something special. As the shoot began to draw to a close, there was still one adventure left in store, a river cruise in the heart of Borneo. Experiences like these are what make these trips so memorable, but none of this would have been possible without our main sponsor, Cell Sea. 
One of the main reasons for getting involved this year is that the future of mobile telecommunications is really all about content. If you look globally at some of the top players, it's not about the phone or necessarily the network. Uh, it's all about what you stick on it, be it apps, uh, and more importantly in this particular case, juicy content. So we really hope and we're almost sure that this will be fantastic content for the viewers out there. So we've had a wonderful time. I think the ladies who've modelled have really had a great time. The weather's played along. So a big thanks to the whole team for, for the fantastic time we've had here. So we are about to embark on a monkey finding mission where we're hoping to possibly do a few shots with Jen if we can get the monkeys on the boat, which would be really cool. Um, have you shot of the monkey before? Yes, you. <laughs> so yeah, so we're about to embark and hopefully we will get something. It will be great. The wetlands are home to one of the nation's most famous inhabitants, the proboscis monkey. Easily distinguished by their large protruding noses, they are fascinating animals that live in the trees on the river banks. Mostly seen playfully jumping from tree to tree, they also have webbed feet, which allow them to easily navigate water. Genevieve Morton, I mean, this is a girl that I've been shooting regularly, probably for the last eight years, maybe even longer. She's like my go-to girl that you just know you're gonna get some fire out of her. So Gaia Island Resort took us on this amazing excursion, about a two hour drive to this massive river. You know, and hopefully, I, I didn't know at the time whether I'd get shots out of it, but I just sort of asked Kelly, our stylist, to bring some swimwear with, and it was just the most picturesque sort of environment. And I just thought, I've got to try and get some shots of her in this scenario. And it was a bit of pressure for her because of, our whole team was there, even the other models were there, you know, all on, the, all on this boat. And she just didn't even flinch. She just rocked it out and, and looked spectacular. First day we went shooting out on a river and we went to this incredible nature reserve. It's, it's something that the government's actually taking care of and protecting because they've got amazing wildlife and one of the things we're looking for is the proboscis monkeys which I've never seen. So it was amazing to see that and to be able to also go on the first day and not have too much pressure. We just did those first few shots and to get to have an experience of Borneo that I think really was a highlight for me. So we've come off our little river cruise, we got to see some monkeys, we didn't get any monkeys jump on our boat, which would have been cool, but um, we saw in the distance jumping from tree to tree, which is amazing. Um, found some great angles, the sun came out for us, uh, got some palm trees on the, on, on the river, which is, I kind of thought, quite unique, and got Jen like right literally in those palm trees, and it looked absolutely fantastic, so amazing start. I spend a lot of time shooting on islands all over the world and I find sometimes they begin to look the same and the unique thing about Borneo is it's very tropical and there's a lot of wildlife and it's very green. I love my story because I feel like it gave an overall picture of what Borneo is. So for today's shoot we were able to go to a private beach around the corner from Gaia Island Resort and it was incredible. We got the most beautiful shots. There was a stunning colourful rustic boat which we got probably my favourite shot of the whole series was really incredible. The last shots of the day we were able to shoot with some local dancers. They were the most incredible little outfits with uh, intricate details. And I really think it made my entire story because it really shows an element of Borneo that I don't think anyone else had. I needed some shots that I could follow up on and it's sort of set my idea in motion of getting some traditional dancers in and shooting some shots with them and sometimes you just need an idea to spark the rest of the story and, and that was the perfect one. You know, it was great for the team to see and also for her just to know that she could work under that pressure. She really pulled it off. Amazing, amazing. We got it, we got it. 
So that's a wrap for uh, Borneo World Swimsuit 2016. We ended with an absolute cracker shot, got the last of the light, came out for us perfectly, and Jen just turned it on like a house of fire. Well done. It's your best work yet. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>